Hey guys, let's take a look at some geometry today. Uh, let's gonna run through this really quickly today. Polygon is just a, that's a Greek, two Greek words that mean many sides. Um, if I were like some sixth grade teacher, I'd make you use it in a sentence or something, but forget that, okay? But that's a definition of polygon. It's a closed planar figure, in other words, it's flat, uh, whose sides are line segments. So closed means you're gonna, the, all the, you know, you're not gonna have something like this, that's not closed, it's open right there. And this will not be, you know, that's not a polygon because that's a curved side. So basically that's what a polygon is. Um, triangle, you know, three sides. Quadrilateral, you should just know quad means four. Pentagon is, you know, something that has five sides like this. A hexagon has six, just kind of make sure that you know these. Heptagon, seven. Octagon, like a stop sign, eight sides. Nonagon, nine. Decagon is 37 sides. Like, no, I'm just kidding. Decagon has 10 sides, so anyway. All right, um, the, the word vertex you should be familiar with, that's like the corner, okay, right there. The word vertices is the plural of vertex, not vertexes, vertices. And you can name this polygon Good heavens. I mean, there's 16 different names because there are eight different uh, vertices on this. In other words, you could name this if you want. It's polygon A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Or you could say it's polygon B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A. Or C, D, you know, and so on. You could go A, H, G, F, E. You could go F, E, D, C, you know. I won't bother to do all those, but you can name the different things as long as they are in order as you name them. Um, you should be aware of the difference between regular and irregular polygons. A regular polygon. Again, that means an, an, at least three-sided figure has the, the sides are the same length and the angles are the same measure. They are congruent angles and the sides are congruent as well. In other words, they're just equal. So that is an irregular triangle. This is a regular triangle. Each one of those angles is 60 degrees times three is 180. You can see the tick marks that tell you all three of those sides are exactly the same. Okay, there's a quadrilateral. There's a regular quadrilateral. That, is a square because these sides are, um, it's an example of a regular quadrilateral. We'll talk more about that in a second. There's a pentagon and a regular pentagon, hexagon and a regular hexagon, and so on. Okay. Diagonals are just those things that you draw from a vertex to vertex inside of a polygon. And these are not just special quadrilaterals, they're super special. Okay. You should know the names of these, they are in your book and make sure that you have this down. Um, this is a, let's see here, let me get all these. So pause it and go, go look in your book. Let's just look at these together. And on the left you have, it's called a trapezoid. And a trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. All right, next look in your book. That is a parallelogram. The, uh, that has two sets of parallel sides. So opposite sides are parallel. Also, you can see what happens is the opposite sides are also congruent in a uh, quadrilateral. This middle one is a rectangle. Okay, we all know that, all right? Not only are the opposite sides parallel and of course congruent like this one, what is different about a rectangle than just a regular parallelogram? The angles, right? It has four right angles. That's the definition of a rectangle. This is called a rhombus. R-H-O-M-B-U-S. Now you can tell that all four of these sides are congruent and they're all the, the opposite sides are also parallel. That's a definition of a rhombus. This, of course, is a square. And the funny thing about square is a square is that first, it's obviously it's a quadrilateral. Obviously, the opposite sides are parallel. If the opposite sides are parallel, by the way, that makes it a parallelogram. And in fact, if the opposite sides are parallel and the angles are right angles, well, that also makes it a rectangle because a rectangle is by definition a parallelogram with four right angles. And by the way, a square also, uh, not only are the opposite sides parallel to each other, it also has two, uh, it all has right angles, but the fact that the opposite sides are parallel and congruent to each other also makes it a rhombus. In other words, every square is a rhombus and a rectangle. That doesn't mean every rectangle is a square, and it doesn't mean every rhombus is a square, but the reverse is true. So there we go. Okay, congruency, you'll see sometimes this little thing, like with a little like that on top. That's a snooty way of saying something is geometrically equal or congruent. So same word, anyway. This is a trans, these are three things that we do to 
uh, geometric figures. We can translate them, which just means you just slide them and you don't rotate them at all. You just slide it up or down or side to side. A rotation means that you will rotate it, you know, like that one is in the middle. A reflection means it's just a mirror image of itself. So they'll do those kind of things. Okay. All right. Look on page 360 and 61 and let's pause it and let's take a look at those. Okay, good. Great look at all these things. Okay, they're all polygons. Um, and let's see, give as many names as you can for each one of them. A would be Charles. No, okay, don't do that. All right. That's a parallelogram. That's a square. That's a rhombus. That's a rectangle, you know, and so on. All right. Uh, let's see. It's a triangle. It's an equilateral triangle. C is a, uh, uh, let's see, a trapezoid. D is a rhombus. It's also a parallelogram. It's a quadrilateral. Of course, E is a quadrilateral. It's also a rectangle. It's also a parallelogram and so on. F is a parallelogram. The opposite sides are parallel and they are congruent to each other. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a hexagon. H is also a hexagon, but it's a regular hexagon because all the sides are exactly the same and the angles are the same. So anyway, okay. Um, you know, let's. I'm going to skip I, J, and, and through M, but uh, just knock those out today with your uh, with your uh, practice set, and uh, these should be quick to do, and uh, we'll use those more when we get later on into proofs and things like that for geometry. So anyway, okay. See you guys next time.